about it in our NFL preview, but we haven't had our, our you know, regularly scheduled program of people watching. I don't think we did spread. I think we only did straight up. I think that's the only oh, thing we that needed was, to go through. We did spread. Um, you should send me that document again. I just did. Oh, dang. That guy's so smart. I changed some of these picks here. Uh, oh, I jumped on some tasty boosts today, Miller. Tasty boosts. Oh, uh, tasty. Yeah. Tasty, tasty boosts. Bro. Uh, I didn't even think about looking at my phone this morning. I, I just totally slept in. Where'd you send that link yeah. to that? Um, in the chat. Oh, see, I've got like multiple chats open. I like it. I like it. Dude, in the these- Discord. These totals for passing yards were way too low billing. So either like Vegas knows like the games are going to be down in scores today or something, but I just wasn't liking it. So I had to jump on some parlays here. We'll see who knows what at this work league pickums. The most passing yards from someone I picked was Russell Wilson with 269 and it's over under. Over, like, over. yeah, I was like, dude, oh, Derek geez. Carr over 259, Trevor Lawrence 249, Sam Darnold 254. I was like, why are these so low? What did uh, Dak throw for on Monday night? 400 Thursday, 400. Yeah, dude had like 60 dropbacks. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I thought that those are, oh, yeah, the boost was too easy. Either Hopkins or Julio Jones to score a touchdown in the first half. Plus one ninety. Oh, I'm def- I I would definitely. You went for that. You got that. Yes. Yeah, ten dollars, baby. Oh, Win twenty nine. Do that. Do that. And then uh, what was the other one? I sent Billings. Josh Allen, three hundred twenty total yards passing and rushing. Oh, let's get it. Yeah, Miller was like, he looked up real. He's like, wait, what? That's it? Let's get yeah. it. I love it. He's my he's my fantasy quarterback this year. Dude, that that Bill Steelers game is definitely like a lot of a lot of disagreement from peeps I've been reading about on that one. It's gonna be a spicy one. I like it because this is the, people are just like riding off that Steelers team like they're just fucking a non-issue, and it's like no, like still like pretty good and have like some veterans on there that know what they're doing. Dude, but that Bills team just crushed them last time they played. Like, Ben Roethlisberger was throwing that ball, like, faster than any of us would throw it behind the the thing. Like, line. Like, this, it's so weird. It's, like, weird how people, like, write off, like, Ben Roethlisberger, yet, like, somehow think, like, Cam Newton is still, like, a top 10 QB. And it's like, <laughs> what? Like, it's so like, no, like, Big Ben is, like, way more, like – I don't know. Useful man. at I, the moment, I'd say, than Cam, because like he can just stand in the pocket. Like, yes, like he has that escapability, but just because he's like big, but he's not gonna like bust runs. He's all about just like those second chance throws. And that's different than Cam. Cam's like second opportunity, second chip is to run away. I don't know, man. I feel like Big Ben's checking into that Drew Brees hotel where he's just like surviving there at the end, and it's just like but all even, like, smart. Drew Brees looked still competent last year and like good. Like no, this- no, no, he yeah. did not. Uh, he did not look competent or good. He could not throw the now ball. Now let's see what Jameis guard. Winston does. Like the supposed young, like athlete stud. Like let's see what he's able to do with the fresh same off team LASIK there. surgery. Like, sometimes, like, being a veteran and just, like, you know, sometimes discretion's the better part of valor. And people did this with Peyton Manning his last season. Like, yes, like, he fell off that last season, but he still got the job done. Like, people make it seem like he just, like, turned into, like, fucking Brady Quinn all of a sudden. And it's like, no, like, he's still Peyton Manning out there. Like, he still has, like, has a certain amount of command and, like, gravitas to him. What makes this game so interesting is like, while I don't disagree with you, I just think the bills are one of the five best teams in the league. 
And while that may be true for like the Steelers against any other team in the league, I just think like the Bills, like no. it's going to be tough, man. That Josh Allen, that shit's a machine. They just drop back like Dak did on Thursday night. They're going to probably have like 50 dropbacks too. He's like the best running attack on that team too. I agree. So we'll see. It's going to be a good one. Um, that's like my only concern. Like I said, like we won. Shit happens, though. It's true. It's true. It, it is. Where is that game? It's in Buffalo, though. And to yeah. me, like the, this, like this Buffalo game is like the perfect like Browns game. Like the last two seasons of like that Browns hype of like Browns are so good. And now it's like sites have turned to Buffalo where they're the team that everybody's like hyping is like the Super Bowl underdog and like this next next, you know, achieving talent. And there, I think sometimes that just gets in players heads when they've been hearing that all season and they come out flat against the Steelers when they know it's like a big game and Steelers, the veteran team knows like, no, like this is just any given Sunday. We need to just go out there and do our job. How big of a difference does Najee Harris make? Say that again. I said, how big of a difference does Najee Harris make? Big time. I I had him as offensive rookie of the year. Oh. I think he's like a perfect fit for the Steelers. That's just like one of those draft picks where you're like, oh, oh okay, yeah, like they're going to be able to utilize that. That's like, it'd be like Mike Shanahan picking up Najee Harris. Be like, oh, oh okay, yeah, like <laughs> he's probably going to do some stuff with this guy. We'll see, man. It's going to be, I guess, a battle of styles because that's 30 touches you're saying for Najee Harris then because he's obviously their bell cow. And so we'll see, like, what a powerful running attack does against the team that they do not want to run the ball. The Bills not running the ball. Drop back, drop back, drop back. Drop. Zach Moss is inactive this morning. Oh, wow. I, just, I don't even know who they have back there. Singletary? Devin Singletary. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it's pretty much going to be Josh Allen. Man, it's wild. Man. We'll see. We're all on the Steelers, though. That just seems like too many points, huh? Six and a half. Six and a half. Well, Billings was the only one who was right about Monday, it looks like. No. Oh, spreads. yeah. Yes, I oh, was, yes. actually. <laughs> We're doing spreads. <laughs> He's all pissed. I was like, let me scroll back down here. Oh, uh, snap. That's and the straight up, I picked the box. Like, I... Oh, God dang it. That was a bad loss. Stupid, stupid loss. Hey, man, kicking still matters in the NFL. Yes. That's one of Tom Brady's, like, greatest things. I don't think he's ever been a part of a team that's had a bad kicker. Billings picked. Oh. And then what's, the, what's like, another game that you think people are sleeping on? Colts, Seahawks. I have a feeling people are kind of, like, overlooking this, like, Chargers-Washington football team. That's that's probably the second game I would say. Uh, Those two games will probably be real good. It's uh, West Coast team traveling east. We we all know what like the game of the year is going to be though. We hit me with it. Or I mean, game of the the week. It, game of the it's week. Browns Chiefs. Hmm. Well, yeah, but uh, you think they make a competitive game of it? Like they make it competitive from the start and not just like after scoring yes. 30 yes. points all of a sudden it's week my- one most of these games are going to be competitive i feel like man billing or uh, tony's you did say colt seahawks yeah and this guy still uh carson wentz is still going into the game with like a sore foot right that's the thing with the colts man like they suck at the start of the season. Usually they struggle so much, but it's like going to be like this perfect fit of like how many games of Carson Wentz do they get healthy versus like when they actually start gelling as a team. True. And I, uh, this is going to be like the healthiest they are all season is in this game. 
why is T Y Hilton still taking money from this team? Like, please let's just put him <laughs> out to pass. Cause here. he's been one of their best, like <laughs> and most consistent players over the last how many years? Like 15. Even over Andrew Luck, he's been like more consistent. <laughs> First of all, let's, let's, let's go back to the Barry and the lead Miller. This Colts team just made, what's his name? Uh, a top John- 10 paid running back in the Jonathan league. Nadine Hines. Jonathan no, Taylor. Naheem Hines. Oh, they Hines, just you're right. Paid yeah. him. He is now a top 10 paid running back in the league. Oh, and all God. these, <laughs> yes, all these people like defending this contract with Naheem Hines. And I was like, this guy is not Christian McCaffrey. He is not Alvin Kamara. Get the hell out of here. This is like a disposable player I could find every single year in the draft. I mean, if he's not available on your waiver wire right now, like that's just bad news. Like, you should be able to just go out and sign Naheem Hines. Like, yep, he's mine now. Okay, I'm done with him. Somebody else can pick him up. <laughs> like, you should just be available at all times on your waiver wire. Um, well, let's run through – let's just run through the games and uh, and give, like, the, the favorite and who we picked, and then we can kind of, like, break it down a little bit each game. You want to do that? I'm it. down. We got a little bit of time. That's that's what that way we Still can make least... me miss this red zone countdown. Yeah, we got to finish before that, <laughs> like 40 minutes here. <laughs> I'm going to start us off here. Uh, we're going to run through the spreads week one as we count down for our uh, kickoff of, of the official week one Sunday kickoff. Um, we kind of broke down the Steelers bills earlier. Uh, Tony mentioned that we all have the Steelers on that. Um, the favorite is Buffalo at six and a half minus six and a half. Um, we do have on here. So we have the Eagles traveling to the Falcons. Um, and Atlanta is favored in this game minus three and a half points. Interesting. Uh, Matt Ryan is coming back probably for a swan song, his last hoorah here in town. Uh, I've got the Falcons winning this. Billings, who did you pick? I have the Falcons winning this. So, therefore, also with the spread, three and a half. I don't know why Tony is, is the odd man out here. Tony Payne, the, the new, specific the team new model, the new car in the garage. He's going to take the Jalen Hurts out for a spin. <laughs> Is this what you're telling me? You think that they're going to put up some like fireworks on the field today? <sighs> Eagles have pretty good offensive line and good defensive line. The Falcons, I don't even know what they're doing on defense other than Deion Jones. So I'm just like, yeah, they, and they have a new coach. So I just, I'm like, this team is not good enough to be favored by that much. Let's not uh, forget. Yeah, both top, like, what, six, top seven drafting teams this past season. So I don't yeah. know. Okay, interesting. I mean, they got to move, they got to move the ball a little bit better than they did last year. Last year, they didn't seem to connect. They weren't able to, like, get it going. But you- Devontae Smith. They did bring, yeah, that's it. I mean, they're bringing in some new weapons and I, it seems like he's pretty like locked in with all of his wide receivers now. So we'll see how it, how it seems to play out. I have to make sure that you weren't like you're, let me see your fingers. You're not crossing. You're not trying to like play any jokes. No jinxing. No jinxing. <laughs> no jinxing is a huge no. Cowboy fan trying to play up the bills. It's the Eagles. I am so sorry. It's the Eagles there. <clears throat> Moving on. Let's move on down. We got Vikings traveling to the Bengals. Uh, And who's favored here? Minnesota is favored by minus three. Oh, um, okay. Interesting. Let's go with the odd man out here, Billings. Tell me who you picked in this one. Bengals. I think the Bengals are going to win straight up today. They're going to surprise the Vikings. Home dogs, home dogs yeah. all day. Does this have anything to do with your relationship with Dalvin Cook? 
easily. Uh, it's, there's a little bit in there. Most influenced by decisions. Get, get, get vaccinated, people. <laughs> Just get this random tweet. Delvin Cook is vaccinated, Tony. And I was like, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Oh, uh, that's why I uh, like, oh, down. this guy's going to screw me. I just saw it. the writings on the wall. <laughs> Please, you picked him again? R- were you in it? I picked him for offensive player of the year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And yes. so I, I really think, yeah, he's going to screw me now. He's going to be out for COVID protocols and miss a week. So Easily one of the victory. Most- and what's his name, Matt Asiata, that comes in every year and just like vultures the heck out of the like playoffs and any sort of like important game from him? Poor guy. All right, moving on. That leaves the other two of us, Tony and me, picking the Vikings. Tony, does your decision have anything to do with Dalvin Cook? <laughs> No, I like, I don't know. I was talking to, to Chris about this. Like this one could definitely be high upset alert. The the Vikings have some injuries, I think on the defensive end. Um, one of those linebackers is out. I forget which one it is. And it may be Anthony Barr oh. and then, or Anthony Barr or Kendricks. One of them's out. And then I have an off, I think an injury on the offensive line too. That's rough. I would like to agree with ben, Chris on the Bengals upset. It's just hard for me to see a path to victory with Joe Burrow's first game back. Yep, yeah. Anthony Barr is out today. There it is. Barr at this, yeah. So we'll yeah, see. it should be interesting. It's, I mean, pretty much his. <clears throat> how many games did he play last year? Six. Oh. Seven. Okay. So I mean, you still have to shake off some cobwebs. You know, he didn't finish last season, so kind of starting fresh. Again, you got to imagine there's some sort of shakiness coming compared to Kirk Cousin, not right? Isn't it Kirk over there? Unfortunately, yeah. On the Vikings? Yeah. Him and his also unvaccinated, I believe. Yeah, also <laughs> unvaccinated. I guess it can hang out together. You can't it's really going to be out. playing in a Pope mobile this season. <laughs> what could go wrong with that backfield? What could go wrong. Oh, all right. Let's move on to this next one. I'm not really sure if there's much that needs to be said about this one, but maybe Billings can go ahead and explain himself here. So this next game, we have the San Francisco 49ers traveling to the Detroit Lions. Uh, They have the favorite in this game as San Francisco minus seven. But somehow Billings thinks that even with seven, eight points. So the spread's actually to nine now. And and like I said, it's week one. Like Lions will come out fired up. Dan the Manimal Campbell will have them fired up. Uh, they're playing at home. And so, yeah, like they're going to have fans back in the stands. Niners will probably make some mistakes. So, like, I think that they can cover – it's nine points now, but I also think they can cover within a touchdown as well. I'm not Chris. saying they win, but coverage, yes. Chris has like <clears throat> say good three good things about Detroit. They're playing at home. <laughs> <laughs> Play at home. They're playing have fans home. back in the stands. And they have an absolute crazy man as their coach that will uh, probably have them fired up. Probably be banging his head on some lockers and wear bloody uh, and be like, yeah, and, and yeah, like that. People want to play for guys like that. That all right, we're gonna have to see. I have absolutely no faith. So Chris is picking the Lions in this game. I do not have any faith in this team for Detroit. I think this is just gonna be like a pummeling. It's pretty much the pot calling the kettle black. When I know this, when I see it, (laughs) I can see the writing is on the wall. Um, I'm picking the Niners. That team seems to be clicking on a lot of different like fronts. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Tony, who did you pick? I agree with you, Miller. I'm on the Niners. Although I see what Billings is trying to do. The Lions is like, this is this is 100% the backdoor cover game. You get it for like seven seconds on red zone at the end. You're like, oh, look, Jared Goff threw this last second touchdown. All of a sudden, they just lose by seven points or they lose by eight points just perfectly to catch that. 
that edge right there. And then I saw his over under is the lowest of all quarterbacks this weekend, 227 passing yards, which seems like insanely low. And I was like, dude, they're just going to be throwing that shit all game. Let's go. Okay. Uh, I think that's all that needs to be said about that game. That's pretty much a wrap for that one. Uh, let's move on over to the Seahawks traveling to, oh man, I'm sorry. I just skipped one. This, I think this is going to be a little bit better game here, but it seems that we've all picked. This is Arizona traveling to Tennessee, uh, Tennessee. What's is that? Has a, uh, spread changed at all? Chris, Tony, let's take a look here. Let's see. Three uh, right radio. here. It has Tennessee minus three. As a favorite. Yep, they are minus three. So that spread has not changed. Okay. Vegas holding firm. All right. Um, I think we're all in unison. Yeah, we are all in unison on this one. We all have the Titans. That means the Titans are probably gonna lose, to be honest. Wow. First of all, okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's <laughs> let's talk wild. about this. Let's talk about this. Malcolm Butler retired. Last week, I don't even know who the Cardinals are playing at cornerback besides Byron Murphy, who's a younger player, and he's like cornerback one, and he gets to match up against healthy Julio Jones or healthy A.J. Brown. So I hate Ryan Tannehill because he owes me money. He owes all of us money. Just to let you know, it's a parlay pal that he owes all of us money. I just like that Cardinals secondary, that Cardinals defense is like, who's stopping Derrick Henry, JJ Watt. So they're just going to throw over the top. I like, I like it. Mad fast points in this game. There's also wouldn't be surprised if Titans lose. Yeah. That Titans defense is as bad as the Cardinals defense. So I don't know who's covering anyone. Um, excellent. sounds like an offensive minded game with two offensive pretty much offensive coaches like they just want to throw the ball uh who is so it's aj brown julio jones on one side and then you have deandre hopkins and aj green coming out on the other side this seems like a pretty good game to have gone to that like if you're there in the stands like kudos to you hell yeah um okay let's move on here uh we have seahawks traveling to indianapolis to battle the colts the Colts, um, the Colts, the Colts. Uh, we talked the about COVID it a little Colts. bit earlier. Naheem Hines, what did you say? Top five paid running back now? Like, top 10, top, top 10. 10. Okay, not good. even the starter on his own team. Uh, the favorite here is Seattle at two minus two and a half. The I'm just double checking. Okay, that hasn't changed. And we are all in unison on this one picking Seahawks to pummel pummel beat and peck at the it colts but oh, this is the one game i'm like seattle they do this they play these stupid games where they lose in stupid fashion where you're like seattle lost this game 18 to 16 and you're like how the heck did this happen and it's just like oh yeah russell wilson threw for 400 yards and they just could not score touchdowns that's like my only concern about this game because it seems too easy for Seattle just to go in there and win. Hustle with Russell. After Mr. Unlimited has come out, he has come out, he just has not been the same. Something about him isn't clear. The second he did that, it was all downhill. Yep. Too much. Too much. You gotta do a little bit less, bro. I don't think much needs to be said. Else, uh Colts are gonna like fumble the ball a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Ooh, All Henry right, lost that one fan in Indianapolis. <laughs> <laughs> we are moving on next. So we have the Chargers traveling to Washington to battle the football team there in town. Um, and this is has this one changed at all? I feel like this spread would have changed. No, a little bit. I think it went to like one and a half, but it's that's about it. Two. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So Chargers are favorite in this one at minus no. two. No. No. Underdog what? Chargers. 
Chargers. So, yeah. So that uh, it's flipped to where Chargers are, are no longer favored. Oh, interesting. So it has a three point swing. So this would be Washington is favored now. Yes. Are we allowed to edit and or change our picks? Go for it. Yeah, there's just, you don't hear there's like, no hands in the dirt yet. <laughs> uh, and you said it's minus two for Washington. Yep. Uh, do Tell me you, why Washington wins, Billings. Do either of you want to change your picks? Because they're the better team, and the Chargers are always just going to charge. And it's a West Coast team going East Coast. But it's game one. It's true. They haven't had like a travel schedule. Like that's my only like thing with the West Coast going East. This is the first game. But it's also my week one, anything can happen meets sophomore slump. (laughs) (laughs) We'll see, Um, man. I am coalescing of events, man. I am switching to Washington football team. Tony has picked the Chargers. You think they're going to be able to cover? Yes, Chargers are going to win that game. Okay. All right. Interested. Interesting to see. See, there's that there's that NFC East hate, which there. he didn't have for the Eagles for, the for Eagles. some reason. The unbiased, just like, they're going to lose that game. Derwin James. They time. suck. <laughs> <laughs> Analysis. <laughs> hashtag. The Sith Lord. The Sith Lord of the NFC East. Um, okay, let's move on here. This is seems like it's going to be a barn burner. We have the New York Jets traveling to Carolina to play the Panthers and Sir Purr and company. Uh, Carolina is favored. Yes, Carolina is favorite. Minus five. Uh, Tony, hit me with your pick here. Down to three and a half now. Oh, it is moved. Okay, three and a half. Oh, this is Jets backdoor cover action. I know it. I feel it. I feel it inside my heart. Guaranteed Panthers win this game by a field goal. Guaranteed. This is like a Vegas special where they try and trick you. It's like, oh, the Sam Darnold revenge game. Get all these people hyped up on the Panthers. Is Zach Wilson starting for the Jets? Zach Wilson is starting for the Jets. Also has one of the lowest totals of the day. Oh, that's going to be hilarious. It's going to be like watching a child out there with grown men. Was it over <laughs> under 234 passing yards? And I was just like, that's too. I, why did I tell you about all these low totals for passing yards? Like Vegas knows these are going to be some low scoring games or something. Oh, it's going to uh, be a butt game. <laughs> What do we have left? We have about seven games left. Let's try to run through these a little bit quicker here. Um, so, oh, I don't even know if we got all of our picks here for this uh, Jets game. So, Tony picked Jets. Jets, Jets backdoor cover. Panthers. And then Billings is picking Panthers. I am actually going with the Jets in this. Let's go. I, I think Jamison Crowder is off of the COVID list. So, you know, he's just definitely going to catch all of the passes. Just, just rewind what you said right there. I'm actually going with the Jets on this. That's the, that's the sign of confidence from any person ever. I'm just like, yeah, this guy is going with the Jets on this. Fresh off the no. COVID list. Let's go with the Jets, baby. Awesome. I'm actually moving on to our next game here. We got the Jacksonville. Jaguars <clears throat> coming to Houston to play the Texans. Uh, has that spread changed at all? I have Jackson, uh, Jacksonville favored at minus two and a half. Yes, I think I have saw it at three and a half for Houston this morning. Awesome. Well, I'm changing my pick. And you guys, who are you picking? I'm changing my pick too. Oh, what? Oh, what is going on with all this backtracking? You're gonna, you're gonna <laughs> let's ride the thunder, Tony. I am changing. I'm going to the Texans. I think there's gonna be some straight up tomfoolery here today. You're gonna see Jacksonville come out. They're gonna look strong, but somehow they're just not gonna be able to finish this game, and the Texans will win. <clears throat> Tony, Tony, switching to. Yep. The Texans, Texans. You, be- you believe in this hype also? 
hype this is like the high point of your season as a texans fan i get it like the jags don't know how to win they're like all rookies coming in on texans are undervalued at this point yes uh billings staying tried and true with his pick uh the jacksonville jaguars trevor lawrence tony what was the total for trevor lawrence passing total over under uh i don't know if i bet on that one let me take a look i did not oh should have wait 249 i did bet on it billings trevor lawrence over under 249 today under oh Uh-oh. oh interesting sounds like you should have picked the texans moving on to the- <laughs> <laughs> do you think texas do you think tyrod taylor is gonna get over 250 no not at all. Not at yeah, all. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, don't even watch like, that game. It's right going to be like a three to like six, three to nine game or yeah, something. It's like, going to be a butt game as well. Yes. Butt game. Butt game. <laughs> butt game. Uh, moving on, we have Cleveland traveling to the Chiefs, Kansas City. Um, surprised Kansas City is only favored by six points. Um, That's actually four and a half now. Oh, good. I'm glad we are. Five and a half. Oh, snap. MGM. Four or five and a half. I don't think. Take the Browns. I don't. Pound it on the Browns. Still picking the Chiefs. Pound it down. Billings is picking Browns. Tony, the tiebreaker between us. Who are you picking? Chefs. Chefs all the way. I think they're definitely going to win that game. Andy think... Reid hasn't lost a game in September in four years. The Browns haven't won an opener in 16 years. Oof. Yeah, those aren't those aren't good trends. Hit me with those stats. I'm loving it. Tony, Tony, Tony. Uh, okay, next. Oh, this is going to be an interesting one. We have the Miami Dolphins traveling to New England. Uh, New England is favored by minus three. Um, go ahead and explain yourself here. Tony, who are you picking? In the battle of the Bama quarterbacks, Tony is a firm believer in Tua Tagliovola. His stock is too low. People are just hating on him too much. He's going to beat Bill Belichick and Mac Jones in this week one on the road upset. Billings. Hit me with your pick. Tell me why he's wrong. Because <laughs> two is probably going to get like 175 yards, not turn the ball over, zero touchdowns. And yeah, that's that's not going to be enough. Like that'll be like, cool, you didn't turn the ball over, but also you didn't really produce any offense. <laughs> 235 yards over under passing total today. Under. Oh, interesting. I'm going to actually go with the over for that. And I have the Dolphins winning this game, coming out and surprising Bill and company. <clears throat> go Dolphins, go. It'd be a great band. Team Tua, Bill and Co. Bill and company. <laughs> Um, next, uh, we have the Denver Broncos traveling to the New York football Giants. The 9-11 game. The 9-11 <laughs> game. Tony, <clears throat> we know. Yep. You did explain to us the other day that we have the anniversary. We have the Giants playing with some uh, extra umph this week. Has that spread changed at all? We have Denver giving up <clears throat> two and a half. Think what do we have it? Nope, uh, not for me. It's the same. All right. Well, Tony still thinks that the Giants can cover. That's why he's going with the New York football giants. Oh, they're winning that game. I mean, you guys support terrorism and pick the Broncos if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. Smart. Uh... Way to turn the tables on them. It's easily terrorism if you're not going for the Giants today. That's why the other two people in this conversation are picking the Broncos. 
I think they're definitely going to cover that. Tony's correct. Bradley Chubb and Von Miller are going to terrorize Daniel Jones. <laughs> so by definition, yes, terrorist, I'll take it. There Let's is. Go Broncos. <laughs> I, hope, I hope we haven't hit like the algorithm for YouTube now, as we've said, like terrorize or like terror, you know, like <laughs> too many times. They're just if like anything. It'll just be beneficial. <laughs> Let's just take a look at this an extra time. Let's just see what they're talking about here. <laughs> um wrapping it up here we've got three more left uh we've got this is an interesting game because this is not being played at the usual stadium due to some of the um hurricane affecting new orleans so we have the green bay packers traveling to billings where was the jacksonville that saints <laughs> the <laughs> jacksonville <laughs> saints um and um I think we're all in unison on this one. We can go ahead and say that we have the Saints covering. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I think we, Saints win. We, dang. Dang. Saints win over Mr. Rogers. Yeah. Come on, I don't y'all. know if I gave the spread on this one. It is Green Bay favored uh, by minus four. So I think the Saints are going to Saints are going to come out playing electric. I say Saints cover. I don't know about win. Aaron Rodgers is he's still Aaron fucking Rodgers. Jameis, Jameis statement game. Here we go. Back we home go. in Florida? He feels good like he's at FSU <laughs> again or what? Yeah, yeah. He's been eating. Been, been getting those crab legs. Publix. Yeah. He's ready to go. Um, <laughs> here is um, coming up next. We have the Chicago Bears traveling to the Los Angeles Rams um this is sunday night football um and you have the rams giving up uh seven and a half points biddlings who did you pick in this game it's eight and a half now but i have the bears covering because i just yeah bears week one i think they can still cover that leaves tony and i picking the rams tony what it was your uh, thinking there? I don't see how Andy Dalton and that Bears team scores points. Matt Stafford has Deshaun Jackson healthy. He's thrown deep today. Also, Andy Dalton in prime time is never a good thing. Mm-hmm. I, that is true. What is that record like? <laughs> that really bad Andy Dalton in prime. Uh, the Andy oh, Dalton like in 0 and retirement 9, game. 0 and 11. <laughs> it's not bad. Not good um coming up next we have monday night football we're not sponsored we're not a part of that big network um (laughs) speaking of algorithms getting (laughs) shut down it's too accurate (laughs) yeah that was it was like almost like yeah you thought it was a sound effect but it was me beatboxing uh we have the baltimore ravens traveling to the new home of the las vegas raiders this is the stadium opening, um, but somehow uh, Baltimore is still favored. Uh, is that line changed at all? They're giving up four and a half points there. It's three and a half now. Hmm. And somehow Billings, you have the Raiders winning this game. Raiders and the upset. Raiders yep. and the upset. Home doggy. Me too. Oh. He convinced me. <laughs> I the, the say good things about the team the underdogs okay interesting say good things about the ravens right now <laughs> this is true this is true lamar jackson is like the only healthy player on that uh, team have they fired their groundskeeper yet <laughs> <laughs> oh latavius murray revenge game complete new look <laughs> what, who's the revenge game latavius murray no, no revenge. I don't even know if he sees the field. Um, I have the Ravens. I think they're going to win. I think they can uh, cover here. So that leaves us with, oh, that's it. What am I saying? That was the last game. Oh. Now all we have to go do is watch this final NFL red zone countdown, and we will be in complete nirvana for the rest of the day uh gentlemen where can they find you if people want to interact with you guys filling space on the twitter bird 
on the big blue bird and tony where can people find you tonyparlay.com i love it tonyparlay.com go check it out he'll have all of his picks up there um and then on the blue bird website where can people find you at tony parlay oh i love it love the consistency branding. baby consistency at its Branding. finest and i'm Branding. at good night 88 k and i g h t and we will be back next week to give you our preview on week two to talk movies we're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff so stay tuned and we'll check you guys out next week enjoy football <laughs>